My parents bought a house back 10 years ago, about the time when I moved to go to college. It's a two-story brickstone house in the city limits, but surrounded by nothing but woods. This is where this story takes place. The first time I stepped foot into this house, I immediately felt off, like something just wasn't right. I felt a presence, but I didn't know what or who it was. I brushed it off, thinking I was just reading too much into it. I continued to feel like this for the next couple of years, and because of it, I didn't much enjoy visiting them. But then, my parents liked to gamble a lot, so they were to ask me to babysit Jamie and Marianne, my kid brother and sister, on the weekends. My girlfriend Lucy, now my wife, loved them too, so she would always babysit with me. The first few times, I really didn't pay attention to the feeling I would get because we would be busy playing or eating with the kids. At night, we would end up watching movies until it was time for all of us to go to bed. Now, my wife is a freak of nature. It's like she falls asleep the second her eyes are closed. Me, on the other hand, it takes me forever to get comfortable enough to wind down my mind. I also don't sleep very well. That night was the first time I saw and heard something in the house. In the room we slept, downstairs, the bed is facing the doorway, but not directly in front of it. With the double doors open, you can see the front of the staircase and all the way down the hall. As long as the light is on, that is. That night, only one of the hallway lights was on. In the last few months before that night, Jamie had started waking up crying very frequently and wetting the bed. So I was laying in bed with the TV on, but the volume down low to hear if he called me. I was almost asleep when I thought that I heard one of my siblings coming down the stairs. I opened my eyes a bit and waited for them to get to the bottom, but they never did. I didn't think much of it. I closed my eyes and began to drift off again. A few minutes later, I heard someone coming down the stairs again. So I opened my eyes and waited, but again, they never reached the bottom. This time, I sat up and listened. A bit spooked, but nothing I couldn't handle. I got a bit nervous, but still I went to see if the kids were awake and maybe scared to come all the way down or something. But no one was there. Confused and thinking I must be dreaming it up, I went back to bed. This time, closing one of the double doors. It was a few hours later, around 2.30am, when I woke up and felt like someone was very close to me as if they were standing next to the bed right in front of me. I tried to see who was there, but it was pitch black. I couldn't even see the hallway light on, and the TV had turned off on its own. I felt like I couldn't move. I was awake now, and scared to my bones. I was finally able to call out my wife's name loud enough to wake her. She reached over and turned on the light, and right then, I was able to move. I freaked out, but I didn't try to explain to her what happened because, even if I had, she didn't believe in those things. So I told her I was having a nightmare, and asked her to come check on the kids with me. We quietly went upstairs, I saw that they were okay, and we went back to our room. With the light on, I was able to fall back to sleep, but it took me forever. The next day, I told my mom what had happened. And that's when she told me she had been hearing footsteps on the stairs at night, and even saw someone standing by the door at times. She didn't tell anyone, because she didn't want to scare the kids. Then she told me what she had done. She wanted to know what was going on in her house, so she went and bought a voice recorder. One day, she decided to use it and went upstairs while everyone was gone. She asked your typical questions of, who is there, what do you want, and why are you here? And then said, You have passed away and need to go into the light. You are not welcome here. The next day, she decided to leave the recorder in one of the bedrooms upstairs, recording for about four hours while she was out running errands. I asked if she had checked it, and she said she was too afraid to listen to it alone. I was afraid to do it too, but I wanted to listen to it. Off we went to the computer. I connected the recorder and we began listening to it after the files were uploaded. 
During the four hours she was gone, you could hear something clicking or tapping almost the whole time. Also, footsteps and something like sounds of drawers opening and closing, but we weren't certain. Then, we listened to the part where she was asking questions. You could hear a sound that resembled a fan, or maybe static throughout most of the recording, so some sounds were indistinguishable. But the one sound we did make out chilled us to the core. When she asked, what do you want? Someone or something had answered, Jamie. It didn't answer any other questions except for that one. We took our hands to our mouths. He wasn't having night terrors for no reason. Something was there with him every night. The next morning, my mom asked a friend to cleanse the house. For a long time, everything has been okay. My brother stopped having night terrors. My mom was able to sleep comfortably and all was good again. Until now. I am babysitting my brothers. It is late. They are upstairs sleeping. My wife is sleeping too. And I am watching TV with the volume low. But I just heard the footsteps coming down the stairs again. And now, it sounds like they're coming closer to my room.